And now they're weighing for UFC 243, Whitaker versus Adesanya. Melbourne, Australia! Welcome to the weigh-in for UFC 243, Whitaker versus Adesanya. How about a hand for the Octagon girls? Christy, Red De La Cruz, Kahili Blundell, our matchmaker taking his sweet time, handsome Nick Maynard, and the veteran voice of the Octagon Bruce Buffer is in the building as well. All right, let us get this thing started. First up, UFC Fight Pass prelims in the Phantom Weight Division. Ali the Warrior Taha versus Bruno Bulldog Silva. First fighter to the scale makes his UFC debut here. Come on, please welcome Bruno Silva. the official weight for Khalid Taha. One pound miss, he will forfeit 20% of his fight for Next up in the UFC flyweight division, Nadia Kassem versus Gion Firefish Kim. First fighter making the walk, set to make her fifth UFC appearance. Please welcome Gion Kim.
128, the official weight for Ji Yun Kim. She will have two hours to cut the final two pounds, otherwise she will forfeit 20% of her fight purse. All right, and now we welcome her opponent representing New South Wales. Please welcome Nadia Kassam. One twenty six, the official weight for Nadia Kassam. All right, now moving on to the UFC 243 prelims live on ESPN 2. First out of the shoot in the featherweight division, Megan Anderson versus Zara Fair. First fighter set to weigh in, set to make her UFC debut tomorrow, Zara Fair. One hundred and forty six pounds, the official weight for Zara Fair. And her opponent proudly repping the Gold Coast. Please welcome Megan Anderson. All right, moving on now. How good is this in the lightweight division? Brad Quake Riddell versus Jamie Malarkey. First fighter to the scale, rep in Central Coast MMA. And making his UFC debut here tomorrow, he is Jamie Malarkey.
156 for Mr. Malarkey. And his opponent, one of City Kickboxing's finest, Brad Quake Riddell. Now moving on to the welterweight division, Callan the Rockstar Potter versus Maki Coconut Bombs Pitolo. First fighter making the walk, set to make his UFC debut tomorrow night, Maki Pitolo. on the nose for Coconut Bombs. And his opponent fighting out of Sunbury, Victoria, Australia, the rock star, Callan Potter. One for Callan Potter. All right, now to our featured prelim also in the welterweight division, Jake the Celtic Kid Matthews versus Rostem Kurdivis Prime Akman.
171, the official weight for Jake Matthews. All right, that brings us to the main car for UFC 243. Live on pay-per-view, first out of the shoot in the heavyweight division, Justin Badman Tapa versus Jorgen the Mad Titan De Castro. First fighter making the walk set for his UFC debut tomorrow, Jorgen De Castro. Jorgen De Castro. And his opponent fighting out of Brisbane by way of West Auckland. He is a bad man. Please welcome Justin Tapa. All right, next main card bout in the welterweight division, Luke the Jedi Chumo versus Diego Lima. First fight in Australia for Diego Lima. Official weight for Diego Lima. And his opponent, the Jedi Luke Chumo. Wait for Luke Chumo. All right, now we get to a featured bout in the UFC heavyweight division. Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa versus Sergey Polar Bear Spiva.
233 for Sergei Spivak. And his opponent, one of New South Wales' finest, number 14 ranked heavyweight in the world, Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa. Right now to the co-main event in the lightweight division, Raging Ally Quinta versus Dan the Hangman Hooker. First fighter to the scale, number 15 of the world at lightweight, the hangman, Dan Hooker. Now it is time to take a closer look at the two baddest middleweights in the world, the two men who will share the octagon tomorrow night in our championship unification main event. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the UFC interim middleweight champion, broken native, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Official weight for the interim champ, Israel Adesanya. And his opponent, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion of the world, Australia's best, 
the Reaper, Robert Whitaker. Champion, Robert Whitaker! All right, we step over here and talk to the interim champion, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. It has been a remarkable run to UFC gold and glory for you. Just an intense stare down there with Robert Whitaker. What did you say to Robert? Final words. I just spoke some Yoruba to him. I just wanted him to feel me. But man, I mean, 2015, when this was Etihad, I remember being way up there. I watched him fight as well. So I remember watching and thinking, this is going to be me one day. I was in the nosebleeds, and now I'm about to make his nosebleed. Congratulations, wish you all the best tomorrow night, Israel Adesanya. And we step over here and corral the champion, Robert Whitaker. That's gotta feel pretty good, man. Most people have said mentally, physically, they've never seen you in a better place. The hype gives way to the action tomorrow. One more sleep, any final thoughts before we let you fly? I cannot wait, I cannot wait to get in there. Can't wait to see you guys there. It's gonna be cracker. And get some rest, we'll see you tomorrow night. The Reaper, Robert Whitaker. Melvin, nobody does it better than you. Get some rest. We'll see you tomorrow night.